about your real child. How about your real child? But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit. The Lord promised better things for us, okay? Because the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, has a favorite people. And he's going to give this favorite people a heavenly kingdom. A kingdom that's blueprinted and formatted and patterned after his mind. A part West African, I can say anytime I want. Alright, Shalom, this is Brother Yuan with GMS South Carolina. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem Rika I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And we're going to say Shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters that are pursuing this truth in sincerity. Alright, may the blessing of election fall upon your house. First precept we're going to read is Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. We're going to start at the 8th verse here. It reads, A friend cannot be known in prosperity. And an, enemy not, and an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. Speaking briefly on this election, not only did the people that voted get bamboozled into thinking they're making a difference, you know, in their living situation and their circumstances, but they don't understand that they voted for Biden by default. He's still an Edomite, all right? All the policies and things that he's going to push for, the instructions he's going to take from the higher up, they're still going to be towards your detriment. You can't vote your way out of the curses, and, and that's been said many times over. Continuing to verse 9, in the prosperity of a man, enemies will be grieved, but in his adversity, even a friend will depart. Okay, so even in this time, as Jacob's trouble <laughs> begins to take place, a, a lot of your friends, a lot of people that you would consider friends, they are, they're not, they're going to fold, you know, because of the pressure that's coming yourself but um upon society you know a lot of people you know if you're deemed a domestic terrorist or an enemy of the state or whatever it may be they're going to depart from you you know to save their own ass that will to do what they think may save their own ass nobody can escape the judgment from the most high if you have a particular judgment laid out for you that's what it's going to be and there's no change in it. There's nothing that you could do to control or alter your circumstances or to alter your destiny. That's a lot of people's problem. They think they have control over their role in the Most High's movie, and they don't. All right, Proverbs 20, 24 says what? Um, how can a man then understand his own... Uh, man's goings are the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? All right, continuing on to verse 10, which is the point that I wanted in this precept. It reads... Never trust thine enemy. All right. There's no such thing as a good Edomite. All right. Quotations, white person. Okay. Now, does every person that looks white are they Edomite? No, of course not. But that's a relative term that we use on the highways and byways when we're speaking to people that are new, so that they know who we're talking about. But it really goes back to a bloodline thing. So there's no such thing as a good Edomite. How do we know that? Even from the beginning. It's made very clear in Genesis that Jacob and Esau were enemies, even in the womb, that they were in opposition to one another. OK, that's their role in the movie to be opposition to you. So there's no way that you, you're going to run across an Edomite that he'll, he, he's he's helping you for the better. Somebody doing a good deed or being nice doesn't make them um, a partner or somebody. You know, it's going to be beneficial to your walk in the long run. You understand? It's not the case. Okay, continuing on. It reads, verse 11, Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou had wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, 
lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. So, you know, even those that they come in the fashion that they're a friend, that they come in the, in the fashion that they're there to help. That is never the case. It's not in their spirit to be so. Okay? So there's not an Edomite that you put in office or a place as a king over you who's going to be for the children of Israel. That's going to be for Israelites. That's going to, you know, um, do certain things to make our living situation here in captivity. Again, we're still in captivity. To make your living situations in captivity better. You understand this devil has a perpetual hatred towards us and that shall never change okay all right so i got some more clips for you guys but i'm going to read this first all right this is um ezekiel 35 and i'm going to start at the third verse it says and say unto it thus saith the lord god behold O mount seer talking about edom i am against thee so the lord is against edom he's against mount seer he's against so-called white people right then why on earth would we be for any of them in any sense? All right. And I will stretch out my hand against thee and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy city's waste. All right. What's the, what's the, what's Edom's main city that they use? Main nation, main military that they use to push their agenda. America. I will lay thy city's waste and thou shalt be desolate and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. All right. Verse five. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred towards who? Towards the children of Israel. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Okay? So they have a perpetual hatred towards us. When did that stop? When did the Lord say that would stop or cease? He didn't. So I got a couple more, uh, I got some uh, clips for you guys and we'll, we'll bring out some more precepts. To show you, man, that this man is to never be trusted. Okay? Now, I'm going to play this ad. Because one thing that Joe Biden's going to do, he wants to ban assault weapons. Now, you know these Edomites, they're not going to have that. That's, it's, 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 it's in their spirit to be mesmerized and polarized by the sword. So, this devil's going to try to take them away. Which plays into a bigger agenda when they do try to, you know... Uh, control the people they send in the military they don't want any kickback all right when I mean, you have trump on the other side who was you know it was a good thing that people had weapons either way for israelites neither stance for us matters because the only deliverance that we're going to get is by way of the habashim shah so either stance on that on that particular topic doesn't matter to us but I, i'm showing you this to to put in perspective that this place is circling the drain no matter what. You understand? There's, the, there's no way you can vote yourself out of the curses from the Most High that He put on you. The Most High put certain circumstances on us. He said certain things are going to happen in the earth regardless of who you voted for. You can't vote away the prophecies of God. It, it doesn't make sense. So, it's foolishness and, and it's silly when you actually have the knowledge and understanding of the Lord. Of the things that are going to happen The Lord said these things are going to happen So yeah man you, you can't vote away The decrees that the Most High set in place That he fashioned Because people sit in church their whole life And, they, and they, they don't understand these prophecies It's sad But I'm going to play this ad for you guys Just to um, paint a picture for you How there is going to be sedition among men And, and, and brothers been bringing out Second Ezra's The uh, Second Ezra's on there. I'm going to go get it too after this. My brother's been bringing it out nonstop. And it needs to be brought out every day. Because it's something that's really about to play out, man. And the only protection that you're going to have from this time is if you've been pursuing the Lord. You got people that's doing their prep and saving the water, buying weapons and all that stuff. It doesn't matter. The only way you're really going to be protected is if the Lord is with you. A lot of those people are, are stocking up those weapons and, and getting water just so the Lord could judge them and then you run into it so that you have things that you need. You, people, people think they really have control over their life. Like, they're, they, they're going to dictate the outcome of how things happen in life. You really don't. You don't. All right? But with no uh, further ado, here's the clip.
The AR-15. This is a weapon designed to kill in mass quantities. Used in some of the nation's worst mass shootings. 22 school shootings this year alone. That's the weapon that we see in so many of these mass shootings. Why do we not do something about it? It's really that simple. Why? Active shooter drills. In schools across America, the job description for teachers has changed. Teachers are being seen as the last line of defense for students, and many schools require them to get special training now. It's truly wonderful to be back with my friends at the NRA. Only one candidate came to speak to you, and that candidate is now the President of the United States. We say to the students and families, our thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. I think it's premature to be discussing legislative solutions. You have a true friend and champion in the White House. I will not let you down, remember that. Who in God's name needs a weapon that can handle a hundred rounds? For God's sake. The Second Amendment says that we can limit who can own a weapon. that's ever been the NRA is me. I'm the guy that led the effort to get an assault weapons ban, as well as a limitation of the number of bullets that could be in a magazine. I was the guy that led the fight on the Brady Bill. There's no violation of your rights if, in fact, you have to pass a background check. Joe Biden is calling for the assault weapons ban to be... All right, so this next clip I want to run is concerning the mark of the beast. So this man has been put in office. He's more of a potent puppet for the elites to use to push their agenda. Trump was a puppet as well, but, you know, apparently they want to know him. And you'll see in this clip that this man is completely on board with the agenda that the elites are getting ready to push. So him being in office is going to make this thing speed up. Our constitutional journey did not stop then, and it must not stop now, Judge. And we'll be faced with equally consequential decisions in the 21st century. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. And Judge, I need to know whether you will be a justice who believes that the constitutional journey must continue to speak to these consequential decisions or that we've gone far enough in protecting against government intrusion into our autonomy, into the most personal decisions we make. Judge, that's why this is a critical moment. There are elected officials in this government, such as Mr. DeLay, a fine, honorable, patriotic man and others, who have been unsuccessful of implementing their agenda in the elected branches, so they've now poured their energies, as the left would if it were different, they've now poured their energies and resources into trying to change the court's view. So this man he just put in office, he's going to help bring forth this time of trouble. All right. But our people don't even understand it as a time of trouble that's coming upon them. You see. My people should perish for lack of knowledge. But that was it, man. Just out of the long lesson, was it meant to be long? Um, so with that being said, I'm going to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rekha Kadash, Devil on Sepah, and Elders, a great millstone, and Shalom to everybody pursuing this truth and sincerity. Shalom.